and by Cummins Diesel, powering what matters. Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, I'm here with Zach, and we're learning all about the latest in diesel technology. And Zach, this is something that I find really interesting here. This is a brand new type of turbocharger that uh, you guys have. It's called the variable geometry. What does that mean, and why is it important? Hey, this variable geometry turbocharger, it has a sliding uh, a side, a piston on the side of the uh, exhaust side of the turbocharger mm -hmm. that opens and closes to either speed up or slow down the turbocharger. This turbocharger will run at 100,000 RPMs or faster and it has actually a speed sensor on the shaft. Okay, I see that little that little uh, slot right there. Yeah, it's like your crank speed sensor. Okay, I got it. Now, why is it important to be able to control the speed of the turbocharger? Well, you want to control the speed so you, you can speed it up when you need more air mm -hmm. or you can slow it down when you don't need as much. This turbocharger also works as a compression brake, exhaust brake. So like the, the old, diesel. like the old Jake brake, I guess, right? That's correct. Now, where did that come from? Uh, the Jake brake was actually invented by Clessy Cummins. Why didn't I know that? <laughs> anyway, what a piece of equipment this is. This is all a part of a whole system designed to make diesel engines run more efficiently and a heck of a lot cleaner. Now, what do you have over there? Well, we've got a big setup right here. I can tell this is where the exhaust comes out of the uh, turbocharger, fed into here. What do we do with this? This is the after-treatment system. What we have down below is a section that treats the smoke. It cleans up all the smoke that comes out of the engine. Okay, so that's a diesel particulate That's filter. a diesel particulate. Well, they got like a ceramic filter or something in it? There is a ceramic filter inside there that filters all the soot out. Okay. Then the exhaust comes up through here and we introduce our diesel exhaust fluid, okay. which is 32.5% urea, okay. and it evaporates inside this tube, and then it comes up into the selective catalytic uh, reactor and this catalyst actually converts the NOx into nitrogen and water. Okay, so you take all as you get the soot and the uh, smoke out, then you put in your diesel exhaust fluid, works with this converter, and you got nothing but water and nitrogen coming out the tailpipe. So it's a super clean diesel. Clean exhaust. And that allows you to really open this engine up, doesn't it? We can tune that engine up back to 90s vintage for best fuel economy and performance. Now, That's Zach, great. I've heard a lot about, a lot of comments about the diesel fluid. And I see you got two bottles here. What, uh, which is which? Well, we've just used this as an example. One is diesel exhaust fluid. It's clear. Mm -hmm. And the other is window cleaner. And they're both. Right there. Yes, they're both equally. He's never cleaned windows, so he wouldn't recognize that. And I don't plan to yeah. either. <laughs> and they're both uh, uh, non-hazardous. So diesel exhaust fluid is safe. So I can see what you're saying there. So it's no more dangerous than window cleaner when you don't have to wash the windows. Exactly, okay. That's great. And of course, all of this allows you to really, you know, get these engines set up. Take us through the latest technology you got in this ISX here. So this is the latest and greatest complete motor, huh? This is the latest and greatest 2011 model ISX 15 liter displacement, 600 horsepower. Boy, I'll tell you what, that'll make a truck go down the road, won't That's it? That's a big rig engine right here. Yep, and it's got all the latest technology from all the years of development. This is everything put together that we've looked at. Variable geometry turbocharger, cooled exhaust gas recirculation, and then we eliminated some parts for 2011 to make it simpler. Well, I noticed at the front here, did you look at this, Dave? They used to have a really big gear case that you were noted for. This looks smaller. What did you eliminate? Well, we eliminated the injector cam because the XPI fuel system does not, is not cam injected. So we were able to eliminate that and uh, the gear train complexity that went along with it. Okay, so that makes it lighter and simpler. That's correct. Well, wait till you see the other side of this thing. Okay, Zach, I'm ready for some modern diesel 101. I'm sure the folks out there are, too. All right, Show me man. what you have here, man. This is all put together. Let me take you through it. Right here, we've seen the common rail fuel system. Right we've here. seen the high-pressure pump. Mm -hmm. We have filtration of fuel, yep. keep the dirt out of it. And we have a new uh, crankcase ventilation system that actually filters the oil mist out of the, the, the draft tube blow-by gases that come out of the tube. So yeah. it doesn't drop anything on the road. That's good. Now, you folks, you remember the old draft tube on the old cars and vehicles, right. tube hanging down there? They've taken care of all that. Now, I guess you'd call it, what, a modern-day PVC system, right? That's right. Modern day is, a, is the right word. Now, I noticed, like, I got an N14, and it's real tall. The profile of this engine is a lot lower. How'd you accomplish that? We accomplished that with a lot of the integration of parts. It, this engine has an inner brake inside. It's integrated engine brake made by Jacobs, and it, it makes everything more compact, simpler, fewer moving parts, 
better integration. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'd like to see this thing running. So stick around. Clean, efficient, dependable, and durable. Cummins engines are found in nearly every type of vehicle and equipment on Earth, from emergency vehicles to 18-wheelers, Ram heavy-duty pickups to 300-ton mining haul trucks. You'll also find us in marine applications and supplying power generation to locations across the globe. And every Cummins engine is backed by our highly capable and extensive support network with over 5,500 locations worldwide, every hour and every minute of every day. Cummins, dependable every engine.